All right, guys, welcome to the new Regal Gentleman Studios. Uh, today we've got Dave in the chair. How are you, mate? Yeah, not bad. Good, 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 good. So, what are we doing today? What's the plan? It's a lockdown. Okay. Uh, at the moment, as, as you can see, and I just needed tidying up, I guess. I've, no I've been used to a corporate haircut most of my life. Okay. But I finished working during COVID and uh, haven't had it cut since. Okay, fair play. Okay, cool. But, so first of all, have you grown attached to the longer hair? Are you enjoying it? I am enjoying it, but it is getting a bit long now. Okay, I'd okay. I'd like to tidy it up. Don't mind me asking, how old are you? 56. 56. You've got a cracking head of hair for 56. Thanks. Really good. And I think you've, I think make the most of it, mate. I really do. I think, I think, I think you suit the longer hair. I think we could put some shape into it, but I definitely think you'd suit a bit more length in your hair without a doubt. So have you had any trims at all? Anyone cut your hair at all in the last yeah, couple of years? Yeah. My girlfriend did trim it. Okay. A slight bit before my daughter's wedding. Oh, okay. That's well, that's fair play, I think. Yeah. 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 Is she a trained ha hairstylist? No. 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 <laughs> if I was to say to you, if you, if you were to give me free reign, I would suggest that you, Let's have a little look at this bit here. Let's pull this back. What I don't like about it at the moment is the way it kicks up. Mm. Wash it, it kicks up like a girl's curls. Well, uh, you've got this on camera, right? I've just picked it up the length there to where it curls. Right, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I was actually thinking about that length there, to yeah. be honest. Because um, I was just looking in the mirror at what, what, what would work. And I think the, the flicks, because of your face shape, and the length of your neck, it makes your neck look longer because right. you've got all that length coming down and flicking out. So I think we need to shorten that down a bit and I think it'll balance everything out a bit yeah. more. So I was actually, I just, I literally just picked it up. I wish I was turning the other way then because that would have been a real big coincidence that I was doing that. But that was what I was thinking, the same thing. I was thinking maybe just something to it sits nice and soft on the neckline, but so you can still bring your hair back. You've still got length in the hair, um, but just so it's taken right up, maybe almost like to sort of, it sounds, it sounds extreme, but don't worry, it's not going to be. Almost like neckline length, okay? Because you still have length in there, don't worry about that. But what it'll do, it'll just shrink the neck a little bit, balance everything out. It won't draw it, it won't kind of make it look longer because it doesn't need to. Okay. Um, but you'll still keep a nice bit of length in there as well. So it'll be quite, it'll be, it'll be a very good age appropriate hairstyle as well, which I think we need to, we do have to address that as well, unfortunately. Maybe I think we got away with maybe taking off maybe like, I don't know, two to three inches will be a good length, all right? Because you'd still have a lot of length in the hair, okay. but it'd be a much more condensed hair. Because it would be a very similar style, just more condensed, much more manageable. Um, the flicks would be taken away as much yeah. as they can be. I'm not a fan of using product either. I just like to just leave it. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, with a length like this, you'd, you don't have to, if I'm honest. You could, if anything, the only thing you'd need to do, well, you, know, you wouldn't have to do this actually at all, but what you could do is spray a bit of salt spray in there. Okay. That's all you need to do. But that is done when it's damp. So it's, it couldn't be any, it, it literally, the only extra thing you're going to do, right, when you get a salt spray, is you get out the bath or you get out the shower, right? You, ta you towel dry your hair. Yep. And all you do is this. Put your hands through your hair, and that's it. Okay. So if you can, if you can stretch to that, yeah. you'd get a lot more out of it. All right. Yeah. I was gonna say. So that's all I think you really need to do, right. if I'm honest. And then just let it dry naturally. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Well, let's get your gown up and let's get you started then. All right. All right, guys. So um, what we're gonna do? I'm gonna start off with a horseshoe section for this one. Well, what we're gonna do is we wanna cut the back and sides down first, put the shape in, and pick the length that we wanna have for the perimeter. The perimeter is the length that. You know, Dave will see as, as the overall length and what you guys will, will notice as being a medium length haircut. So I'm just starting from the right hand side and I'm just putting my horseshoe in. So what was your haircuts like when you were, you said like, when you said at the start, your corporate sort of haircuts, what were they like? Fairly short back and sides. Okay, yeah, yeah. And longer on top. Okay, yeah, yeah. It was uh, cut on top with scissors and then yeah. clippers. Uh, on the back and sides, yeah. So not too short, no, not aggressive or nothing like that, no. no. Number three, I think it was. Number three, okay, three yeah, cool. Three or four back and sides. Right, okay, yeah. Here we go, so my horseshoe's in. Just sectioned it off, just stop it from falling down into either Dave's face or into my, my cut and guide. So, uh, I don't know if we got that on camera then, but Dave's just revealed to me. Pretty, pretty offensive thing, actually, what he just said to me then. He doesn't use conditioner. And I can't believe it, mate. I can't believe you. A man, of, a man with hair like this hasn't been looking after it, you know? Um, but no, we were just saying, I was just combing it through then, it was getting a bit tangled. And I was wondering why it was getting so, so I, I, it was thick. I was thinking, this is, this is getting quite tangled. It's not breaking though, but it's getting quite tangled. And then Dave revealed his, his dirty secret that he doesn't, uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't condition his hair, just shampoos it. And that would explain a lot. But no, I, I, reason, reason we always recommend conditioning, it's a, you want to kind of, 
when you when you wash your hair, you take out a lot of the uh, the, the amino acids and the, the the goodness out the hair basically, and you need to put that back in whilst your hair replenishes itself. So the conditioner acts as like a bit of a kind of barrier until your hair replenishes itself, especially when you think about how old your hair is. Like you've been growing it for two years, but it's probably maybe two and a half years old, if you get what I mean, yeah. because of when it was the root to when it was the tip to when you started growing it. So think about two years, stress, foods, maybe alcohol, maybe cigarette smoke, pollution, all these different things that you've, you know, you, you, your hair absorbs. A conditioner just puts all that back in, but what it gives you, it gives your hair a lot of a softer feel. It also makes it more manageable. So I, I definitely start incorporating that into your, into your routine. I know when we had this conversation at the start was, don't really use product. So I showed you how easy that was to do. Yeah. A conditioner, when you've shampooed your hair, all you want to do, rinse the shampoo off, get the same amount of conditioner that you used as the shampoo, work it into your hair. It'll take you about 30 seconds okay. to work it into your hair. Shower the rest of your body, rinse it off on cold water. That's it. And what we do on this channel as well, we follow up and we make sure that you've been doing it. And if you don't, we, we, we basically, uh, we put it on camera and tell you that you haven't listened to us, you know? We out you on camera. <laughs> we don't really. I'm gonna take this down and make it a lot more manageable, Dave, and also give it a nice, uh, a good trim as well, but still keep some nice length in there for him as well. So what I'm doing now, it's because we're moving for a bit of length, I'm using two fingers as the width of my section, as you can see. The back from the temple into the middle, like so, middle of that section. I'm gonna take off about that much. Bring a little bit from the previous section as a guide. There's my section, that's what I need to use. So how did, uh, how did you find growing your hair out then Dave? Was it, was it hard work or? Well, it gets in your eyes <laughs> That's true, yeah. Um, but I ended up putting it up in a man bun, which, oh, okay. which is the preferred uh, way of wearing it. Yeah. I can imagine, yeah. Did you find it just stayed, it stayed a bit neater for you as well then? Would you find it was just stayed at your eyes and a bit yes. more manageable, yeah? Much more manageable. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And what was the reaction from everybody when, when, you, when you saw them, you know, sort of people you had, maybe you hadn't seen since before COVID? Yeah, I mean, uh, my mum said she didn't like it. Nothing. Oh, did she? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, most, most other people, you know, it it quite well. That's it's good. To, uh, not complain about it anyway. Oh, that's cool. So, at what, at what sort of stages did you uh, did you enjoy it the most throughout the growing phase? Probably up until about two months ago. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was just about to get it cut actually when I got Liam's email. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. So I thought I'll, I'll wait, and of course, then it grew another grew for another two months. Ago. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, two months when you've been growing for two years is nothing really, though, is it? In the end, no. you can kind of you can persevere for another two months, right? And what about your girlfriend? How does she find it? Yeah, she's sort of been quite encouraging all along, really. Oh, that's nice. I don't know whether she's laughing behind her back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but I definitely think it suits you, though. I think you've done a, done a cracking job to get it this long. I really do. I think you've left your, yourself open to some really nice, uh, nice future styles as well, you know, which okay. is really good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it had to be done. It's, uh, I hadn't had long hair since I was about 16. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. So, uh, never as an adult. Never as an adult, no, no. Going to barbers, getting shorter, coming home from barbers with shorter. The psychology now is that I go to a barbers and get shorter. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like ingrained in me. So, if you went to, if say for example, you, were, you had longer hair as a child and you went with your mum or your dad to the hairdressers and got your hair cut, you'd be so used to that as well. You know, I think it's whatever you're used to. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that obviously, you know, it, it, it helps a lot when you've, you've, uh, you've experienced it before. My kids have a little bit, like they do like their hair, obviously, because the mum and dad are both, you know, in the industry. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, my, 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 my boy who's five, you know, he's got curly hair, he likes his curls, but he, he never once sort of sits there playing with his hair or asking me to cut it for him or anything like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but I think if he had long hair, it wouldn't bother him like at all because it's just not, it's not in his psyche to think about. Yeah. Uh, where like my eldest lad is 10, he wants longer hair. Cause I think that's like kind of a trend in his school with yeah. like kind of kids with like longer hair. And he, he really likes his hair, you know what I mean? He really does. But I think that's because of his age and also because obviously, you know, his upbringing as well with us, he's obviously, you know, he's been around us the whole of his life. So 
hair's always been a big part of it. He's never had to go to a barber shop and get a haircut or anything like that, you know. So he's always had it done in the kitchen or in a shop, you know. But yeah, I think I think it is. It's just one of them, isn't it? I think from when as a child, if you've had it done as a child, it's much easier to, to get your head around. Yeah, I mean, I guess this is a, a fortuitous mixture of COVID lockdown, yeah, and then another lockdown, yeah, and then maybe midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell lockdown. me you've got a red sports car. Have you got a, Have you got a Porsche? No. No. <laughs> you look like the kind of guy with a foot of a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day, mate, yeah, that's it. That'll be the next midlife crisis. <laughs> yeah, Porsche on finance. Like, oh, do I really need the Porsche? Yes, I do need the Porsche, yes, yes. So I'm just cutting it to where the bend is on here now. So hopefully this will start to help with the flicks. And what good thing is, well, when someone has like, has like, like big flicks on the back of the hair, by cutting it in palm to palm, you leave this bit longer. So it almost lies over the, the longer hair and keeps it sitting flat. So it's really nice, it really frames the neck. Leaving the back with a bit more length in. I'll just match up to the middle bit a bit shorter. To leave that as the longest point, just there. Because it's got very, very straight here, I'm doing this, I'm taking the length off by point cutting it in, like so, so the ends are nice and jagged. And then what I'm doing is I'm going back over the section and I'm point cutting into quite deep as well, so you end up with that kind of finish. So it's very, very choppy. And I think when you've got such straight, thick hair, if that was blunt, it would just, it would just look as if it sits on the head. Gonna work the razor through this now, so I'm gonna create a nice bit of texture. We've got really thick hair, so we can really go to town on the thinning out of this as well. You can see we've just been quite sporadic. So, um, what is it that's put you off um, using products for so long? I guess it's just that I'm a bit lazy. I've, <laughs> yeah, I forget fair. to buy them. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I just, uh, I just, just it's just a habit of not using them, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never really got into it. Have you ever, um, have you ever seen the benefit of using a product before? Like, have you ever been bought one and you've used it and you've liked it? Or have you I've never found a product that you've liked? To be honest with you, I haven't done no. no. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Just use shampoo. Just shampoo, no idea, man. For, I know. for about five years, I didn't Stop. even use shampoo. <laughs> didn't you? No. What did you use? Just water? Yeah, whole yeah. water, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about guys who have braids or have any something done like that, they tend to just use hot water anyway. If they, if, when it yeah. comes to washing, they just use warm water or the steam. Yeah. You steam as well if you need to. But I mean, the, the thing is, right, it's, uh, I'm, only, I'm only one, you want to say something like that, but it is, I've got clients who I, I know don't, like they've told me for years, they haven't shampooed their hair for years, they've used um, scalp tonics, okay. and that's all they've used, and they've got, their hair's in great condition, you know what I mean? Yeah. It really is. Um, so I mean, again, it's all down to personal preference, right? You know, there is, the, you can say there's a right way and a wrong way, but it's whatever works for you way, isn't it, really, I think, so. So, we're gonna connect the top in now. Now, I wanna create movement, uh, in Dave's hair. So I, normally if we're going to keep the top a lot longer, we kind of connect it down to the, per, the perimeter length that we cut it to, but I'm actually gonna create a little bit of texture in the sides as well, so we can still bring it back, still wear it very similar how he has, but just a little bit, you know, a few more options. Drop this down to maybe halfway on the sides of the head. Find the guide, I'm gonna cut it to there. There we go, to there. And a point cut into this as well. Just because his hair's so straight and so thick. And a point cut in. There we go. There's our guard again. Gonna keep the, the fringe at the same length too. So I don't want the fringe to be any longer. I want it to all balance and all blend in nicely. Point it down again. There's my guide. Take the fringe out for a second.
So what have you done with yourself um, since you've uh, you've now, well since Covid really, you know, you said you, you stopped working, so what have you been doing? Sort of divide my day up into three parts. In the first part I try and learn something new. Oh yeah. I've been doing um, a course in macroeconomics. Oh wow, okay. Um, do a bit of investing, a bit of day trading as well. Oh right. So learning how the markets work. Yeah, yeah. Um, second third of the day I try and do some exercise, go for a mountain bike ride or a, or a run or nice. a long walk, swim or something like that. And then the last third of the day I've been working on my house. So oh, right. The house needed a lot of maintenance <laughs> and renovation, so I've been uh, doing a bit of work. Oh, nice. Work on the house. Doing it yourself, yeah, as well? Well, and getting people in. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Whenever I can, but it's difficult to get people in these days. Is it really? Yeah. yeah it's difficult to find uh, tradespeople. Oh, wow, okay. Um, there's always a waiting list, or well, usually in my area anyway. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay, fair play, yeah, fair play. That's a really, uh, really nice way to plan your day out there. That's a really good way. So, we, are you? Would you class yourself as retired then? Was that what you say you you've done? I'd say I'm semi-retired. Semi-retired, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was the plan to always retire at the age you have, or would you? Was that was that a goal, or and you just achieved it, or was it just COVID came up and I thought, you know what, let's let's give it a go. It has been a goal for a while. Has it nice, nice? And yeah. It just became convenient with um, with COVID happening. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, brilliant. I'm happy for you, mate. That's that's awesome. It's good that you reached your goal, mate. It's great. Yeah, thanks. It's a very hard goal to reach, especially nowadays. It's very hard, isn't it? You know, I don't think I think the average person buying a house is like mid to late thirties in the UK now, isn't it? So yeah. retiring in before sixty-five is probably hopeless, I think, for a lot of people. Yeah, look, I'm not saying I'm not going to need to go back to work at some stage. Yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully not, but you never know. Especially yeah. with inflation being what it is. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah. How are you finding um how are you finding learning something new? Like is that been again, has that been something you you've always wanted to do as well? Are you enjoying learning a new a new skill or a new trade or a new a new I don't know, just some new education in some way? Yeah, I wouldn't have chosen it if if it wasn't interesting to yeah. me. So I'm finding That's good. it really interesting. That's really good, yeah, yeah. Have you always been interested in that? Or is it just something that came up late, late, like later in the later in your life? It sort of it came up later in, in life. Uh, I'm initially trained as a mining engineer. Oh wow! Um, and then uh, got into the corporate side of things with a, mi a big mining company, uh, and then got into investments and M and A type oh, of right. work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've become interested in it. Yeah, the other thing I'd like to learn is a language, like Spanish. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Just find the older you get though, life gets in the way, don't it? You know, it's like, do I have the time to sit down and learn? Do I need to learn Italian? Am I ever going to go to Italy? You know, am I going to live in Italy? Probably not. So, but you, but you know, it would be a nice thing to just, I think I think personal goals, I think it'd be nice to, to learn a language and be fluent in it and just turn up somewhere and feel confident in that language. Like I used to work in Germany quite a lot and I always wanted to learn German for the, for the reason that I, I spent a lot of time there. Oh, yeah. um, but I just, I just, again, Struggled with the timings, you know, to try and make it work. Really struggled. And then the older you get, the more difficult it is to learn. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It becomes more difficult. Yeah. So the final horizontal section now. Not a lot coming off, which is good. Run that in as well. We have our little point at the top as well. You can just work out how much to take off, so I'm probably just going to take off about that. So we've still got a good bit of length in the top, still fall back, still fall over to the side if, you, if they wanted to as well. Just gives us, gives us options, doesn't give us one set routine, one set look. Again, when you've got longer hair, I think it's nice to have a bit of a change, a bit of a balance, change it around if you want to, stop you getting bored.
Right, let me just dry this off now. So I'm going to put a little bit of salt spray in there, and then I'm going to dry it off. And then I'm just going to point cut into to balance everything through for the texture, and then I'll show you the result. So high speed, high heat. So blast it through. Now you don't have to do this at home. You can just leave it to dry naturally. Okay, I'm just doing this to, for the finishing touches. Well, then I'm just going to point cut into any of the heavy bits just to show you how you can wear this. So, that's all cut it in for you. So, you've got still a bit of length in there, you've yeah. got shape. Yeah. It falls in nicely. A bit of salt spray would bring that out. But I put loads of texture into so the haircut's got lots of texture sitting through it. So the minute you run your hands through it, it'll move around for you as well. Nice. Really easily as well. But it's it's dead easy, just let it dry naturally. It'll look it'll look better dry naturally if I'm honest as well. It'll look okay. a lot a lot. I find that your hair will sit much flatter if it was dried naturally, I would yeah. say so. But I think it looks really cool, mate. Yeah. It looks lovely. I'll show you the back as well. If you can see the back, but the back is just sitting on the collar. Oh yeah. But there's loads of shape. Yeah, it's a good length. It's a good length, isn't it? And you've got all so if you look at that. You've got all that movement that sits through it as well. So it falls all nice for you as well. Cool. But yeah, it's good. Good out of here, mate. Good out of here. Very lucky, mate. Alright guys, now have you ever thought of being your own boss? Have you ever wanted to have like a work-life balance? you ever wanted to create content, build your own audience or join a platform where there's passion behind it and also passion for men's hair? Regal Gentleman Studios is open for applications. Look at the link in the description to find out more.